Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Soup. Today I've got a really yummy recipe for you. It's banana bread. Um, I've seen a lot of people trying this out recently, so I thought I'd share with you my recipe, and I have to say it's pretty darn good. I've got all the ingredients ready here. We've got 250 grams of self-raising flour, three bananas that I've already mashed, I've got 120 grams of butter, two large eggs, I've got my spices here which I've done half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and then I've got, this is the interesting part, two tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of apple juice. Just gives a really sweet flavour and it saves you adding in a ton of sugar. Um, then lastly, this bit is optional but I really like pecans so I've added 50 grams in as well. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all you want to get the oven preheated to 180 celsius, that is for a fan assisted oven. Um, and then next we'll start mixing the ingredients. So first things first, um, your butter should be at room temperature already, but what we'll do is get it in the mixing bowl to get it looking a bit creamier. So let's get that in. You can use the whisk attachment, um, but for the butter, if it's a little bit hard still, you can use the um, paddle as well. I always forget the name of the paddle. Paddle attachment. So let's get this going and get it looking nice and creamy. Shouldn't take long, about 30 seconds roughly. Okay, my butter's nice and creamy now. So what I'll do is I'll just clear this up, get this back into the bowl, we don't want to waste any. And then I'm going to change to my whisk attachment. Um, because it's all a bit lighter now, the butter's not so hard, we can change to the whisk. Okay, so we've swapped to the whisk and now I'm going to add my two eggs. Just plonk them in there. And we're going to add in the bananas as well. And get that on the mix until it's all combined. Again, about 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, so lastly, we're going to get in all the rest of the ingredients, so our honey and the rest of the dry ingredients. I'm going to start off with my apple juice and honey. Now you can swap this out for regular caster sugar, um, but I find this just adds a really nice taste to it. We'll add in our nutmeg and cinnamon. And then we'll pop in all of the flour. And again, get that on the mix until it's nice and combined. About halfway through, just throw in your pecans. Okay, that's the batter done. So next, what I've done is I've got my loaf tin here and I've just lightly oiled it. You don't want too much, just enough so it doesn't stick to the sides. I don't know if you can see, but I'll give it a go. That's what it looks like, okay? And we're gonna just straight up pop this into your loaf tin. Okay, so that's our banana bread ready to go into the oven. Like I said before, it's 180 Celsius for a fan assisted oven. And you wanna put that in for about 40 minutes or until it's gone nice and golden. Um, good way of testing the center is if you've got a skewer, um, just pop that into the middle and when you put it out, it should be clear. You shouldn't have any dough left over there. Okay, so let's get that in the oven and we'll see you when it's done cooking. Just taken the loaf out of the oven and it smells lovely. So what we're going to do is leave that for five minutes, five or ten minutes to cool down. We'll get it out on the wire rack and that's us all done. That's our banana bread all done. 
And yet again, it smells amazing and it's certainly going to taste amazing too. I really hope that you enjoy this recipe. Um, if you have a go at making it, remember to share a picture to my Facebook page. Um, and this can be really, really enjoyed just on its own. Or you can slice it up, toast it, bit of butter, maybe even a bit of honey as well. Um, I absolutely love this, so I know this isn't going to last long. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!